the big freeze gripping much of the nation, especially the East Coast, including Florida. And it couldn't have come at a worse time for citrus growers. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobia is in Riviera Beach with the story. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Julia. It may not sound cold by New York standards, but temperatures in the 30s, wind chills in the 20s is cold for Florida. It's so cold, in fact, that even the wildlife is looking for a warm spot. Take a look at this. Hundreds of manatees found it. They're huddled in the warm water flowing out of the Florida Power and Light plant here. This is some of the coldest air to hit Florida in more than six years, and it comes at the height of the winter harvest. Across Florida, workers rushed to get truckloads of produce out of the fields and onto the market ahead of the cold. And right now the Valencias are coming in, the honey bells are we're finishing up. And um, it'll just, actually, it'll, it, it would be devastating to the industry. Florida's chill is part of the same system that brought snow and sub-zero temperatures to North Carolina, then tornado-strength winds and frigid air to Georgia. Thousands there spent Wednesday without power. So we just dove right into the blankets and just trying to keep them warm. Most of the country's winter fruits and vegetables come from Florida fields, and a deep freeze can be costly. It can be incredibly devastating. Uh, it, it, if it's below 28 degrees uh, for four to six hours, you can do damage to, uh, to citrus, which is one of the hardier uh, 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 crops we have. And it's not exactly warm in the water either, which is why you see so many manatees huddled here in this outflow of the Florida Power and Light Plant. Fortunately for citrus growers, it appears as though the temperatures did not stay low enough, long enough overnight to do significant damage. But of course, we'll know more later today. Julie. Wow, what an incredible shot. CBS's Kelly Cobia. Thanks, Kelly.